Hello, thanks for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell because that way you'll be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep watching. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. I truly do appreciate the support. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some simple home decor ideas. And I will be using one of these round signs from the Dollar Tree that has the metal word family on those. I really like the size of these and it's a nice piece of sturdy wood. I also will be using for this first one a round foam piece and I have a bunch of florals here all of these are from the Dollar Tree and these are like two different color shades yellow and then I have these two as well also I have some Spanish moss that I will be using and from the Dollar Tree I have these wooden dowels and I will be using five and a half packs of these my paint color choices will be the antique wax and I will be using some of the plaster color chalk paint and so what I'm going to do is remove the hanging piece using my little miniature screwdriver set and I thought I was filming when I took off the paper and the metal wording on the front but I wasn't and so you'll see that on the next DIY I'm taking the antique wax and I'm just gonna go around the sides of this sign and I will use this as well to paint the bottom just so the bottom of it can have a finished look as well and so what I'm doing is just taking some paper towel to wipe off some of that paint and then I'm going to start painting the bottom and so I didn't get all of the paper off like I wanted to but since this is the bottom and you can't even really see it, it's okay. And so after I get this painted, what I'm going to do is start adding my dowels to the other side. And I'm just going to add them using some hot glue and pressing it down. And every dowel that I glue down, I'm going to glue them right up next against the previous dowel. So I'm going to add some glue and then just press down the next one. And I'm just going to continue this until I come all the way around. And this is how I'm going to create my planner. And so now I'm just going to continue to go all around. This may seem a little time consuming, but it actually wasn't that bad. So after I add my last few dowels, this will be complete. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that hot glue and I'm going to go along the bottom of this planner to give it some extra security. And then I'm going to take the hot glue and go around the middle so that I can push my dowels together so that they can hold. After I get that done, what I'm going to do is paint the inside and the outside using that plaster color. And I did get some of the plaster color on the bottom, but that's okay because when I go over the planter to dry brush it, I can fix anything that I don't like. And after I finish distressing the outside, I will go and distress the inside of this planter as well. And after I finished distressing the inside, I decided to go around the very bottom of this planter with some jute cord. So I'm just going to glue down two rows of the jute cord. And then after I get that complete, I'm just using some of these old shopping bags to push down in the bottom of the planter as a filler. And then I'm going to put the foam piece right on top. And then I'm going to start adding in my bunches of florals.
and then after I add all my bunches in the next thing I'm going to do is take that Spanish moss and go around the top of the phone and the bags and after I finish that this DIY is complete and I think this came out so pretty and this is going to look great for the spring And so now I'm going to get started on the second DIY for today. And for that DIY, all of these items are from the Dollar Tree. I have two of these small mixing bowls out of the kitchen section. I'll be using two rows of this decorative rope. I also have a bag of this lemon zest potpourri, and this one smells really good. I have two more of those signs with the metal word family on them. And I will be using four of these sticks off of my Dollar Tree foam brushes that I always save and I'll be using the same color paint choices and so what I'm going to do now is take my little mini screwdriver and screw out the little hanging piece and I'm actually going to keep these little pieces because I can use this little screw and hanging piece for a future DIY and so now I'm just going to pull my word off the front of the sign and I'm just going to use my hand to pull that up the word is flimsy, but I'm going to try to salvage it and use it for my last DIY. And then sometimes you can just pull the paper up and sometimes if you apply a little heat to it, it will come up as well. Now after I get all of the paper off, I'm just going to sand over these signs to smooth down while I screw the hook out and those stickers as well. And so now I'm going to add my sticks and I'm going to glue them down to as close to the end as I can now the first two I'm going to add them closer to the middle and then the next two sticks I'm going to glue those down closer to the side because as you can see there's more room in the front because that's where I want to add my bow to the little shelving unit and so I just wanted it to be more space up front if that makes sense and so after I get that done I'm just adding glue to the top of the sticks and I'm just going to press the other sign right on top and so what I'm going to do next is take that plaster color and paint the little shelf unit and after I get this completely painted what I'm going to do is I am going to take that antique wax color paint and I'm just going to distress over this shelf unit very lightly And after I finish distressing, this will be complete. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap each one of those mixing bowls with a row of this rope. And I'm not going to paint these bowls because one of the ways that I'm going to style it in my home, it will be around water. And I'm just going to continue to add some hot glue and wrap the rope around. And I'm only going to be using one row of rope for each one of the bows and so this is how far the rope went around the bowl and what I'm going to do now is wrap the second bow and then I'm going to show the two different ways I may style this in my home and I'm also going to be styling it using one of these metal hanging signs from the Dollar Tree the first way is I just added potpourri into the bows and made this a little potpourri stand and this Corporate smells so good. This is the one from the Dollar Tree, the lemon zest, and I absolutely love it. And I think this is so cute. And here's the second way I may style the shelf, and I just laid the little metal sign right on top and put my dish soap and hand soap. And in the bottom one, I added one of the bowls and just put my sponge in there. And I think this is cute in the kitchen as well. And for the last DIY for today, I have one of these metal planners from the Dollar Tree and I'm just painting over it using that plaster color chalk paint. And then what I'm going to do is distress around that color and I did not paint the inside.
And after I finished that, what I'm going to do is I did salvage one of those uh, family words off those previous signs. And so what I'm going to do is just glue that word right down in front of the planner. And I'm just going to add some hot glue and I'm going to press it down just making sure that the bottom of the word is all the way at the bottom of the front of the planter and I'm just adding some hot glue and pressing everything down and then the next thing that I'm going to do is take my florals from the Dollar Tree and I have three bunches of these pretty greenery picks and I'm just bending the stem I'm not going to cut them down and I'm just going to place them right inside the planter and then this DIY will be complete I am happy with how this turned out and here is the second look of the other DIYs that I created today and I think everything turned out really nice. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. In the comment section below let me know which one of these were your favorite. And until next time my friends stay safe and I will see you in the next video.